Guest appearance by D. Kerr, paid for by Total Retirements. Hey, welcome back everyone. It is Friday, the best day of the week. As you know, our Keep the Change segment is all about helping you weave your way through questions on finance, retirement, and saving for your future. Now, we do want to remind you, the information that Dee is providing is pretty general in nature and should not be construed as personalized financial investment tax or legal advice. But it is good advice nonetheless. Now, Dee, today we're talking about the big, sometimes scary word that we hear a lot when we talk about finance, diversification. First off, you know, for someone like me who might not be so uh, in tune with the finance world, tell us what that means. Well, you know, we do say that word a lot in this segment. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about it, it's pretty simple. Have you heard the saying, don't put all of your eggs in one yeah. basket? Well, in, div in investing, diversification simply means spreading your money over different investments and asset categories in order to reduce risk. But keep in mind that uh, all securities have the risk of loss and that past performance is not necessarily reliable for future performance and that you want to make sure that no investment stat strategy uh, that you can mean a gain or a loss. It, it protect you from a loss. Right, and now I, I know that I know for me personally, I'm wondering, I'm sure a lot of our viewers at home are wondering, okay, so what are some of my diversification options? Well, so let's just keep it simple. We're mm -hmm. going to talk about three different asset categories. And you think about stocks, bonds, and cash. Now, you've heard of those before, right? right. So it's yeah. pretty simple. Well, stocks, they provide uh, or can provide a possibility for a greater uh, return. You think of opportunity for growth, but you also think about risk. Because of the volatility of the market, mm -hmm. in the short run, they can be more risky. In the long term, they might reward the investor. When you think about uh, your bonds, which are generally regarded as less volatile than stocks, returns have historically been more modest than stocks. So, and then uh, finally our cash, which is typically seen as the safest, like CDs, treasury bills, uh, money market. Well, while these offer the lowest rate of return, they, so you could face the loss of purchasing power. Absolutely, and I know that uh, plenty of people might be wondering, and me included again, and you know, you get to a point where you have some money, some income that you want to invest, and you might be wondering, how do you yeah. determine how much to have in each asset category? Well, you know, that's, that's a really good question, and it's really personalized, because mm -hmm. how, what percentage of your money you put into stocks, what percentage that you put into bonds, and what percentage into cash is really your investment plan, and it would depend on your goals, your time horizon to achieve those goals, and then what is your risk tolerance? How how do you feel about the volatility in the market? Right. And, I, and I, another phrase that pops out to me when I kind of read over the information is asset allocation. Why is that important? Well, you really can make the difference on whether or not you're going to achieve your goal. Mm -hmm. How you diversify your money and invest it could mean not enough risk in your portfolio. Might mean that the returns aren't great enough for you to meet your goal. Too much risk and the money may not be there when you need it. Absolutely. Well, all great advice. Uh, we do want to remind people that this is general in nature, but it's still great advice every single Friday. Absolutely. Nonetheless. So thank you so much, Dee, for stopping by. And we will have our Keep the Change segment, of course, every single Friday right here on Texas Today. Always great information. It's always great to have you, Dee. Thank you.